Well, I just came back from the flying field and unfortunately it was kind of uh, way too windy to record outside using a microphone. So I'm coming back in the studio and, uh, and I'll give you the quick intro of what you're going to see in a minute. But uh, I basically went out to fly the Mavic Mini original, the number one, and then the Mini 2, which just came out. And I wanted to test the different batteries and see how long we could actually uh, fly before going down. So. Uh, the, the batteries are more or less the same size. Now one is a little bit more voltage, but a little less milliamp hours. And then uh, that's for the, uh, the, the Mini 2. And then the, the Mini, the original Mini is a little bit less voltage, but a little bit more milliamp hours. Uh, the Mini original advertises 30 minutes of flight time and the new one advertises 31 minutes. So really on paper, not that big of a difference. So uh, let's go take a look and see actually what the difference is on the field. And I can tell you there was actually a pretty drastic difference between the two and um, and then let's look at the footage so the first thing that you'll see is on the left we have the mini and on the right we have the mini 2 so we decided that we were uh, gonna fly next to each other and um, and try to maintain that distance now once we have set this up we actually did not touch the controls until the drone actually told us that it was going to land by itself which uh, happens when you have five percent battery remaining so the entire time pretty much the drones maintain the distance and you'll see as i fast forward on some of this stuff uh, they did a really good job now they're not very high up you can see here from the data they're at about uh, between seven and eight feet of height above the ground and um and it, and it did really good at that stage so we started with 98 percent battery even though i had charged both of them the night before to 100 uh, percent the uh, mini estimated 2452 so almost 25 minutes and then the mini 2 estimated 2554 so almost 26 minutes uh, with the 98 percent battery now i need to say that i fly at 5,000 feet elevation, so I am not at sea level. This was actually, yeah, 5,000 feet in this area right there. So uh, you will see less of a performance because of the difference in uh, in um, in pressure outside and this in the difference in, in air density. So I'm fast forwarding now, so I, I can get to 50%. I wanted to show you. If you tap on the, on the battery level, it actually tells you until forced landing, and then it tells you until the battery is actually depleted. So here we are at 50%. The first one to get to 50% was the Mavic Mini, and the Mini got to 50% after flying about 12 minutes. And, um, and interestingly, it said that there was 12 minutes left. So right in the middle, right at 50%, uh, which is, that would be 24 minutes, which was less than the 25 that it had predicted early on. But uh, that's when we'll give that a pass. And then the Mini 2, I'm playing at normal speed now. The Mini 2 did something interesting. Um, it um, it went to 1234 before it got to 50%, so about 34 seconds more than the Mini. And then it said 1214 left, so 1234, 1214, almost halfway through so that was good um, it did something interesting if you see the the feed on the bottom right corner this was from my uh, from my phone from my iPhone 8 plus and um, interestingly it started giving me some artifacts on the screen and I'm not sure what that was about I actually tried to move the camera a little bit left and right and to see if I could get rid of it but it stayed there until the very end so um, I have actually noticed the same thing yesterday when I did my test because I did the same kind of test yesterday but I was just actually wondering if this was uh, something that was due to the low battery but in this case I have 50% battery left so definitely not what the issue was in this case so um, it's kind of surprising because uh, I was really close to the drone in this case only as you can see on the screen it tells us uh, five feet away I was only five feet away. no actually nine eight feet away from the drone in itself so um, not sure what these artifacts are about. Maybe other people will see this and, and tell me what uh, what's going on here. But uh, from here we go from 50%. The next big event is the 20% battery remaining, which is when it starts beeping. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, it starts beeping. Uh, at this, it started beeping actually... Uh, almost at the same time, a minute difference between the two, but the, the beeping was in sync. And uh, one of the controller makes a slightly different sound than the other for beeping. It's not exactly the same. So it was definitely interesting to keep hearing the, the beeping for several minutes. So let's fast forward to that point. And the next big event that happened was, uh, like I said, it was the 5%, the 20% the, uh, the battery remaining. So the... Um, 
20% happened first on the Mini, and you can see it on the bottom left corner, the original Mini. Uh, that happened with about 4 minutes and 50 seconds left of battery, and that we had flown 18 minutes and 40 seconds already by then. Um, on the right side, we still have 24% on the Mini 2, so it took 4% uh, difference already between the two. And, um, and what happened is the Mini 2 went to the 20% battery at uh, 1943, so a minute later. So it took a minute for the Mini 2 to catch up, and then it showed 4 minutes and 27 seconds left. So that was our 20% event. Uh, like I said, at that point, the battery is beeping, and uh, if I were flying further away than 65 feet from the drone, uh, from the start point or from the controller, then it would have gone into a return to home because I was actually so close. Then in this case, um, I, I didn't have to do that. The drone kind of stayed there, didn't try to return to home. So the next thing that it was going to do is uh, the, the low battery landing warning at 5%. And that's when it starts to want to land. That's the force landing that you see on that, uh, on that warning on that screen right here with the red uh, landing uh, arrow. Uh, basically on the left side right now it says 2 minutes and then on the right side it's 2 minutes and 48 seconds. So that's when you have to fight it. You have to basically keep it up in the air using the controller. But until then we weren't really touching any of the screens. Now you've noticed by now the Mini 2 has the low battery warning as well. So uh, we are going to go to the next event which is going to be our 5% uh, which is when the drone is forcing down by itself. So the next event after this is our 5%. And you can see here the 5% battery is happening on the Mini. And uh, it says uh, battery voltage and then boom, here's the warning right here, confirm landing. And that's when I had, uh, that's when uh, we had to fight it to not land. And then look at that, almost immediately the same thing happened on the, um, on the Mini 2. Interestingly, that happened at 10%, not at 5%. So there's two different uh, sets of criteria right here for the drone. It's not something that you can actually change by hand. I looked and I couldn't find it. So the uh, the Mini 2 will force landing with 10% uh, battery left. The original will do it with 5% battery left. And, uh, and that happened, by the way, after 22 minutes of flight, pretty much spot on for both drones. So 22 minutes and then the drone is basically trying to come down all by itself. So we had to kind of fight it uh, to, uh, to go down. You have to find the right amount of stick to put it in. That's what you can see on the screen right here. It's going up and down, up and down on both sides. But uh, you're basically uh, fighting DJI because you want to land. Now you have 1% left on the Mini now. And uh, when we get to zero, technically it should force itself to land or the battery should shut down or something should happen. So um, what we see instead is that it stayed up in the air. So it reached 0% at 2332, 2332, and then we were able to fly with no battery, uh, basically with 0% battery for another 25 seconds. And then after 25 seconds, what basically happened is that uh, the Mavic basically went down on its own. And you can see it. There you go. It's going down. There's nothing we could do. We, we had full stick on the left and it, it basically just went down. So uh, final time was for the Mini was 23 minutes and 32 seconds. 23 minutes and 32 seconds uh, when it was actually advertised to be flying for 30 minutes. So we were short six, six and a half minutes, basically, from the advertised time. Now, uh, I'm going to fast forward because guess what? The Mavic Mini 2 still has 2% battery left, and, uh, and it stays up in the air for a while. You can see it says 17 seconds. I'm actually not going to fast forward. I'm going to let it play. It says 17 seconds or 13 seconds now until 0% battery. So that 0% battery uh, happened well, soon after what happened with the Mini, soon after it landed. But then what's really interesting after this is that uh, we get to 0%, there you go, here's 0%, and then it just stayed up and up and up and up, and it stayed in the air for a really long time. We were really surprised about uh, what was happening because the other one, I mean, it stayed up in the air with 0% for 25 seconds. And so I'm going to fast forward because it, this is going to go on for several minutes uh, that, 
the uh, the, Mi the Mini 2 is just holding up in the air. Now, you may say, well, the battery may be newer. Um, the battery actually on the Mini that I have, it was a brand new battery. So it had uh, only flown once before. Uh, so that's not really what the problem was. Uh, the wind was the same for both scenarios. I'm not sure really quite what the difference was, but I thought it was interesting that it stayed up. So uh, let's fast forward for a second and see what happens. Okay, and now we are getting close to the point where it is going to go down. There you go. Now that was it. That was all the battery that I had left. Now, interestingly, this was almost three minutes. It was two minutes and 55 seconds after we um, we had the 0%. So we flew for almost three minutes on 0% battery, and the total flight time at the very end was 27.19. So you can see here from the table that I have displayed, you can see the difference between the, uh, the results. So the Mini flew for 20, 23 minutes and 32 seconds, and then the Mini 2 flew for 27 minutes and 19 seconds, which to me at 5,000 feet in a pretty windy day, I think is a really good score. Uh, I had done the testing yesterday, like I said, but I had a corrupted file, unfortunately, so I had to redo the test. And pretty much the results were almost exactly the same yesterday. And yesterday was actually on a very quiet day, uh, no, no wind at all in the area that I was in, but the, uh, the difference was, um, was pretty drastic like we saw right here. So the... That's it. You really make up whatever you want from these numbers. I thought this was interesting. I thought I would do the difference. Now, the one thing that I would like to test eventually, the Mini 2 has the ability to actually take the battery from the original Mini. So I would like to test that and see how long we can actually stay up in the air with the original battery and, uh, and kind of report back. Maybe do a comparison between the Mini and the Mini 2 using only the original Mini battery uh, to see if there's that big of a difference. But that's all I have. Um, see you guys for the next video. I recorded some 4K footage uh, that I'm going to share and then I'm actually going to compare to the Mavic Air 2. So I will see you on the next video.